Hi, I'm Das Kamhout, and today I'm going to be talking about improving data centers through intelligent resource orchestration. The world is, is, is moving quickly. We have access to everything always. And we have these, these user experiences that, that we all enjoy. So for instance, when I'm driving to work, my nav app can figure out there's a traffic jam and it can give me a better route to get to where I need to go faster. While I'm driving, I could be listening to my favorite playlist. And as soon as I get to my office, I can continue listening to it from my computer. When I'm in a new city, I can find a, a restaurant I've never been to. I can make a reservation right away. All this is powered through the cloud computing and massive amounts of information being collected, processed, and analyzed inside of data centers. When I used to run Intel IT's infrastructure, one of the worst things that would happen is, is getting a call at 3 a.m. and say an application is not performing properly or the users are having terrible performance. Uh, the manual approach to running a data center, you have to look through all types of systems, all types of logs to try to find that needle in the haystack. And that could take hours. So it's super important that we, we shift to intelligent resource orchestration so that we can move from manual tasks to automated tasks. We want to be able to, to find that needle in the haystack uh, much quicker, and even better yet, uh, have the system find it itself so you don't even get the call. To help IT address these challenges, Intel is making intelligent resource orchestration a reality. Intelligent resource orchestration helps ensure that the infrastructure is agile and responsive to end user needs. So the data center is built of, of, of lots of complex parts. So we have resources, there are compute, storage, we have network, and these all need to operate together. We want the infrastructure to basically act on its own behalf, make decisions to drive up its own utilization, fill up every nook and cranny with capacity like a Tetris game, meanwhile being able to meet the performance requirements of end users. A good metaphor for intelligent resource orchestration is the human brain. We watch, we see everything that's happening, we decide based off of collecting that information and making decisions on it. We act based off that decision, and then we learn um, as we go through that cycle. So the human brain watches everything. Inside of a data center, we have a similar situation. We want to watch everything, uh, pull out the data, and, and bring that all into a, a system. We've created a few technologies to help expose all this information so we can see it. Intel's silicon has huge amounts of telemetry. We have Intel Service Assurance Administrator and Intel Resource Director, which basically helps you find all the information and see it clearly. And then we analyze it and we correlate it, and this leads to a decision. Today, a lot of uh, the decisions are, are fairly rudimentary where you know all they decide to do is, hey, I have a problem, let me email an IT administrator. Where we need to be is where the decision says, no, I'm going to actually take the action on my own and solve the problem uh, without actually you know, calling somebody. For instance, I could have a, a, almost a life and death situation where I need to run through the genomic strain of a certain person. So in this situation, I see as the intelligent resource scheduler that this workload is coming and I know that it has a high priority and we can see that they don't have enough system power through the application level telemetry. So a decision that we would correlate is app slow, not enough infrastructure, give me more infrastructures. So next we act. We put automation in place, mechanisms for policy activation. As part of intelligent resource scheduling, I can make a decision on a workload. Rather than it being placed on old generation gear that may be missing key speed up accelerators for it, I want it to hit the fastest box possible because it's a high priority job so that we get the, the results right when we need them. And last we learn. We get to a state of machine learning where the systems is continuously uh, learning and becoming better and improving itself. So much like a human basically has actions where we have successes and failures and we learn from those, uh, the systems can do the same thing where they watch, they decide, and each of those actions basically make sure that future decisions are better than ones in the past. Today, Intel is laying the foundation for intelligent resource orchestration by exposing deep system level data into the software orchestration stack. We're doing this through projects such as, as OpenStack and Mesos, working with our, our software partners such as VMware and Microsoft, taking the, the very complex problem and making them extremely simple. Uh, we want to democratize cloud computing. So we believe that this democratization of cloud computing is going to help us with the speed of service delivery, increase uptime, and lower costs. And it's not enough that you know, the, the most advanced environments get to use these great things. We want everybody to be able to use these strong technologies uh, to run their environments. So rather than you know, getting the call at 3 a.m., rather than spending all the time on boring troubleshooting problems, let the systems you know, take care of themselves. If you'd like to know more about Intel's vision for the digital service economy transformation and Intel resource orchestration, you can visit us at www.intel.com forward slash IT center.
Thank you.